Once upon a time, there lived a lion in a forest. One day, when he went to drink water in a river, one of his feet got stuck in the damp, mushy mud of the river. He tried a lot to get out of the mud, but his efforts were in vain. Oh no! What will I do now? There is no one to help me. He had to lie without food for days because he didn't find any help. But one day, a kind jackal came to drink water from the river. When he saw the lion, he went closer to have a look. What is the matter, Your Majesty? Why are you resting here? The lion narrated his plight. The jackal immediately scooped out mud from the slush to make a way out, but the lion was unable to move his feet. As he had been in the same posture for the last several days, his body had grown stiff. Try a little harder. You can come out. I'm not able to do it. The jackal understood the condition of the lion and helped him to get out of the mud with extra effort. The lion was really thankful to the jackal for his kind help. Thank you, my friend. He was very happy to be free to move after so many days. The lion appreciated the effort made by the jackal. He asked the jackal to live close to him. Dear friend, where are you going? Oh, don't go anywhere. You can stay with me from today. We can share our food. The jackal accepted the offer and started living with the lion. Thus, they lived happily sharing the food. With time passing, they expanded their families. The lion had cubs and the jackal had kid jackals. Both the lion and the jackal were passing their days happily. The lioness, lady of the lion's house, did not like the amity between the jackal and her husband. The lady jackal conveyed this to her husband. The jackal became furious. He went to the lion to express his anger. I helped you without any consideration of any return. You asked me to live with you. So I started living with you. Now, if you don't want me to do so, you should have told me yourself. Why did you involve your wife and cubs to convey this? The lion was shocked to hear such words. My dear friend, what are you saying? I don't find any problem with you or your friendship. I have no such ill feelings between us. I trust you, but I became angry when my wife gave me such a feeling. I'm sorry, friend. 
I should talk to the lioness and solve the whole matter. The jackal was intelligent and understood the situation. Dear friend, I know you are sincere, but our families cannot respond with the same level of friendship. So let us stay apart and meet often as friends. Where do you want to go now? I want you to be with me. Don't leave me. We could hunt together, but it would be better if our families stayed apart. The lion agreed to the proposal with a very heavy heart. The two families parted from each other as friends. The jackal and the lion continued to be good friends. They often met and hunted together. Thus, the two friends shared a close relationship throughout their life. My friend, you have always been a good friend to me and you're really wise. Moral, do not expect your family to show the same level of friendship you have with someone. A banyan tree once grew deep within a forest. It was a friendly tree and spread out its branches, allowing many creatures to make it their home. A flock of geese arrived every year to build their nests in it. One day, an old gander saw a vine growing up the tree. Oh dear, that vine will grow up and people will use it to climb and they will catch us. Let us ignore him. He's always predicting bad things. They never come true. And so, they did not pay attention to the old gander's words. The vine began to grow and become thicker and stronger. It twined itself around the banyan's trunk and reached right up into the heart of the tree. One day, a hunter happened to pass by, and looking up, he saw the vine. Today is my lucky day! Here is a tree full of birds. It has a staircase too, to lead me to them as well. The hunter set up his snares. And when the geese returned home, the hunter's net trapped them. They struggled but could not free themselves. I warned you, but you would not listen to me. We are so sorry for our foolishness. Please help us. Oh. We don't want to die. The old gander was thoughtful for some time. And then, he had a plan. The other geese were willing to do as he said. He told them to play dead when the hunter returned. The hunter threw each of them down onto the ground in disgust, thinking they were dead. We are safe! We are safe! Your wisdom and experience are truly worth their weight in gold. Thank you. And they flew away into the sunset, happy to be free, happy to be alive. Oh daughter, I am so tired of leading a poor man's life. I wish we could also be rich and have every comfort in the world. Just then, the king of the country came passing by on a hunting trip. 
The king has come to our woods. 